I'm a guy. Uh, my dad is from Teshi, and my mom is from um, Central Region. Okay. But my mom, my my grandmother moved from Central Region to Accra, and that's how come my mom met my dad. Uh, Jamestown, to be precise. Okay. Uh, Bukom. Um, so I started football from the streets of Bukom, and uh, I find love in it. Then I try to uh, make career out of that. We all know Bukom; uh, they are known for boxing, but but trust me, they have. Uh, very good talented footballers in Bukov as well. So I started football from there and then someone spotted me to uh, for me to join uh, a coast team around called Me and You Babies. So through there I was uh, one of their best players in the team and then one of the biggest uh, coaches at that time called uh, uh, Kowlin Babies. Me and You Babies. Then Kowlin Babies, one of the biggest uh, coast team in, in, in that area spotted me. And that year I was uh, lucky enough to uh, play in the Milo tournament. To, uh, Kali Babies won the the league, and then we have to represent great. great finals, and I had an amazing tournament. So that's how come I was spotted to join the national under 15. Uh, through that, from there, then the Accra Great Olympics came to poach me when I was young. I was 17, going to 18 years when Accra Great Olympics poached me. They sent me to, when I joined the uh, Accra Great Olympics in the Premier League, Ghana Premier League at then. I, I played for some time there, and then I moved to Accra, so for one of the biggest clubs in, in the country. Uh, I had like two seasons. My first season, I won the season with them. My second season, then I had opportunity to travel outside. But before that, I've, I've played in the Under-17 World Cup, played in the Under-17 Championship, and then moved to U20s, uh, championship, uh, uh, African Championship, and then the World Cup as well. And then the Meteors. Then from there, I moved to Europe. And then from Europe, then um, I got a chance to play for our senior national team, which is the, the, the Black Stars. Stars. So when you watch my career, I graduated like we go to school. Mm. So from the U17 to U20s, no, especially from the U15s, U17s, U20s, the Meteors Olympic teams, and uh, I give thumbs up to them. Today they won the, their first qualifier. They won 2 1 against Mo Mozambique away. So I give thumbs up to me, my colleagues, uh, Ibrahim Tanko and uh, Godina Trump. Congra congratulations to them. They did very well. Away, winning away game in Africa is not easy. So congrats to them. So played in the Olympic team and then get a chance to play for the Ghana Black Stars as well, which have had like 40, 46, 48 caps. Uh, with eight goals, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, I, I played in Europe as well, played uh, in a country like Israel, played at Puerto Tel Aviv over there, and then moved to Russia, which I stayed four and a half years in Russia, played three teams, Krylia Sovetov, Terry Grozny, and Lokomotiv Moscow. Um, uh, from there, then I moved uh, to the UK, which is Scot Scotland to be precise, which I played one of the best clubs in the country apart from Rangers and Celtic it's Hearts of Midlothian which I, I had a very good spell over there throughout my career that's the country I always say I felt at home because because my, my, my family felt comfortable uh, so that's how come I have I have love for them so I see that as my second second country uh, I had a very good uh, season over there and then after that I moved to Holland play for Vitesse and in my in my career I keep saying that uh, I have to if I have to retire I have to retire with Accra of Suffolk which I did after my spell with um, with Vitesse Arnhem in Holland I moved down to play for Accra of Suffolk for one season and then that's when I hung my boots if we may know why Accra House uh, of Oak because I was a fan when mm. I was young uh, my my family most of my family members, they are Olympics fans, because my dad played for Hearts of Folk before moving to Accra Great Olympics. So, so he's, he's an Olympic fan. So when we were coming up, all my siblings, they support Olympics. So it's only my big brother and myself. We we want competition at home, yeah. you know. So we 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 divert to to support Accra Hearts of Folk. And since then, I have 
I've had love for too. And also, one particular player, Mohamed Polo. Because I grew up in Jamestown, I normally walk, after school, I will walk to uh, lotteries and then watch a class of folk training. And Mohamed Polo is such an amazing player. It's, it's such fun to watch him. So because of him, I grew love to, to support a class of folk. So um, that's why I grew, I find that uh, love for, for, for the club. Um, we want to know more. Uh, your almost, almost all my brothers are good footballers. Wow. But, but it's only myself and my big brother Olili mm. made it uh, as a professional footballer because our big brother, such an amazing player, uh, and then the other three brothers that I had to, they were very good players, but they couldn't make it. You know that, like, like I keep saying, football it involves a lot of effort. You need to sacrifice a lot, but with them. With them, it looks like they, they 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 did not have the vision that myself and my brother have. Because it's not easy. You have to persevere and then make sure you get whatever you want. So so I will say that myself and my brother, we, we pushed a little bit harder to, to achieve whatever we achieved. For. But hey, like you said, my father was a very good goalkeeper, kept for a crack great Olympics and out, and then he, with the national team as well. So you can see he runs in the family. Mm. Uh, so, what is your advice or uh, an encouragement for the youth, especially those that have it as a desire to be great footballers, just as you? Yeah, they, 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 all I have to say is that uh, football journey is not easy. Uh, one thing you, they should understand that they have a lot of people to compete with. You can imagine how many million uh, people we have in the country. And if, let's say, 50% are footballers or maybe 20 percent are footballers imagine how many players you'll be competing with you know to find your spot so it's not easy uh, same as any other business or any other job you wanted to do so they shouldn't give up they should have a game plan work hard towards it and 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 trust me when they put in effort they're going to achieve whatever they want to achieve not only football in everything you do you should have a plan and start to work towards it and you, you, you should know where you have to start and you know where you are going and work towards it for me uh, it's perseverance that's the word perseverance because it's, it's not easy in any other aspect it's not easy but you have to make sure you work out do the right things surround yourself with positive people people that will add value to your life that's what you will, will determine the position and the place that you'll be in future mm. So now let's come to the Blasters, your <laughs> former team. Uh, they are currently qualified to go to Qatar. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Uh, do you think Ghana is going to make it? Um, for, 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 for me, where I'm sitting now, I know we have so much respect when it comes to football in, in the continent and even the world. You know, uh, previous World Cup, uh, the world saw what Ghana can do. Uh, currently, I know Ghanaians doesn't have a lot of confidence in the current squad uh, and the new for me I have so much confidence in the new technical team that we have now just that uh, they came in very late they should have gotten some time because for, for me I believe they've all of them have worked in an elite environment so so they have what it takes to understand the modern trend of the game so lo talking of Otoado if if work with Right to Dream Academy, if work with FC Nordland, and with Borussia is currently working with Borussia Dortmund. And we all know Borussia Dortmund is one of the one one of the best teams in the world. You know when it talks to Champions League, they've made impact. They produce a lot of uh, uh, good players for for in football. Uh, you talk about uh, Boateng. He also worked with Aston Villa. He resigned because of the Black Stars job to have a hundred percent focus on the job but for me he played football to the highest level you have the experience and he's a coach too and aston villa we all know in the premiership you can't write them off you talk about didi dramani didi dramani for me is a teacher he's a father to most of the coaches in the country for me he's done so much for me in my coaching career uh, he's still my advisor and i know he's been a uh, coaches instructor before so he understands the game very very well you talk about uh, Hutton, Chris Hutton. He, he's coached, he's coached Premier League clubs before. He's been in the Premiership in environment. So look at the brain we have in our technical team. But for me, my problem is they came in too late. But then again, 
uh, uh, assessing our last two friendly games, assessing our last two friendly games. I know Ghanaians were not happy against Brazil, and we cannot take anything away from Brazilians. You know, we, they are amazing. The coach brought on his tactics. He wanted to uh, uh, press middle pressing, but the aggression in their pressing did not work. But then again, in the second half, he realized it. This is this is the best you can get from the coaches. Sometimes you have a game plan, it doesn't work. Second half, you should have a uh, plan B, which I think Otuado and his technical team did very well. They did very well in, 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 in changing the formation into uh, back three. And you can see, we held the Brazilians a lot. But what they have to work on is like, the moment they win the ball, how to break forward and go and punish the opponents. We didn't see that. Against uh, Nicaragua, they dominated play. They created a lot of chances. Then again, Ghanaians were not happy that we should, we should have scored ball goals. We created a lot of chances, but we couldn't score. But it's good for me, as a technical person, it's very good for me that seeing a team creating chances. Because if you don't create chance, then there's no chance of you scoring. So the chances they created in it is amazing. We're looking forward to see them against uh, Switzerland. Switzerland? Switzerland in, 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 in our last friendly game before we go to the main tourna tour tournament. So... Uh, uh, I think we are in the right direction. Ghanaians should be exercise patient. They should still support them. I'll, I'll give them one, uh, one, one uh, history about the Black Stars. 2006, we went to the Nations Cup. Mm. And we, were, we, we, we exited the group, the tournament in the group stages. Jubilee. That time, Ghanaians were, doesn't have confidence in the team. But the main tournament in, in, in Germany, you, you, you all saw what the Black Stars did. They did very well. They were the last African country to go out of the tournament. We were even close to Brazil finishers. So, again, so for me, I think we should still be exercise patient and support our team. Some few people, uh, my mission here, and I've advised the youth, some of the youth around Keta as well. Um, the most important thing is um, I'm here to use one stone in killing two birds, in as much as me coming here to witness what is happening. Uh, so the gala that is happening, uh, courtesy by Tom B. Akamu, the fifth. Uh, so for me, I'm going to take advantage. And, uh, I'm going to take advantage of it and then try to uh, pick some young boys that in future they can represent the country. So I'm going to use one stone in killing two birds. Uh, like I said earlier on, uh, I will use this opportunity to, to spot one of the best players in this tournament and then, and then scout them for the country. Because uh, uh, hopefully very soon I will be given an opportunity to lead uh, one of our youth national teams. And uh, I want to take this opportunity, my trip here, is to, is to find the talent that we want. I always say that uh, if you go uh, everywhere in the country, you, you find right good footballers in the country mm. uh, so i'm taking advantage this trip i'm not going to let it go waste i'll take advantage and then try to find the best uh, from this side as well long ago like two three months ago uh one of my nieces attend to keta keta school okay so my uh, i i promised her that i will i will come and visit before she finished school uh, which i came down to ghana around july and I made that trip to come and visit and trust me I was I, I couldn't I did not see much compared to my, 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 my it was a very good experience for me to travel because I, I've been using the main road all the time and this time the direction is when I get to uh, a junction I have to take right I took right and I thought maybe it's just here but I have to drive through and I saw nice since around me till I got to the school. So this is my second time coming to Keta. Okay. And just